Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Elven Ring Bow-Only Challenge Run, the livestream series where archery is our only option. If you want to watch these challenge runs on your own time, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and boot that bell button to stay notified. Hey, Chopper Nicholson, thanks for dropping by, dude. How's it going? Now when we last left off. So much underground adventures. <laughs> we explored the Noxtel uh, Eternal City, we explored the Light of Rot, and now we're here at what's called the Bryant Loyster, and I'm feeling a bit nervous because I feel like we've been going so, like, deep into this area without encountering, like, a major boss battle. Like, th this seems like a dead end right here, so I, I get the distinct feeling we're about to encounter, like, some super boss. And, well, I'm just excited to see what, what we got coming up. I, I will mention, though, I see the shrimp down there. That does have me concerned. Ah, I see Copper Nicholson. Best wishes with that exam, but not even studying real hard for it. And I'm sure if you do it your best effort, you'll, hurt, you'll do fine, dude. Ah, well, I mean, fair enough. Just, you know, give, give it your all, Copper Nicholson. No matter what happens, you'll know that you did your best, and that's important. Well, hey, that's why it's important to practice, you know. So, glad to hear that you're able to have some good practice on this. Also, wow, this is actually interesting. We have a choice here. We can go to the left, or we can go to the right. I think we'll want to go to the left here. Hey, Brekthor, how's it going? Thanks for dropping by. Oh dear. Well, looks like we're fighting. Darn shrimp. And your heat seeking missiles. Okay. It's just one. There we go, that's what I did. And they were over 1,800 apiece, that's a lot. <laughs> Though, to be fair, they are kind of, um... They are very annoying enemies to fight. Especially, you know, with the... It's... I, I wouldn't mind the, you know, the glaives so much, as it is their heat-seeking missiles. That, that does get, you know, challenging. This is a good amount of rooms, though, for our trouble. Also, we will most certainly need our cleansing for this. Grab the shiny. Oh dear! No! I mean, to be fair, like the way the the, the heat-seeking missiles come out, it's intended, I guess, to be a teaching way for a, a way to teach about how to dodge, like you know, make use of Elden Ring's seemingly extremely forgiving uh, invincibility frames. But if you decide it even once, you just get hammered. So that's kind of uh, the back and forth there. There are some shinies though. I hear noises. Oh, it's the tree monster. It's back, chat. It's trash. Why does it always come after us? Why is this like a fourth time? Oh, we're dead. Well, goodbye, police. It was nice knowing you. Well. Oh, we survived somehow. Why is the tree monster back? We're dead. <laughs> Need some space to, to fight this thing. This is not... Well, I mean, we have space. I'm just way too close to it right now. This is not ideal. Oh, cheese? No, no, it's not cheese. Here he comes. Oh, 
Oh wait, is that a way back up? Yep. That might that might that might help a bit. Yeah. I'm just waiting for it the moment where it hits us and we just get yeeted. But if that's a way back up, that'll actually be a good option for us. Uh, it is not. It most certainly is not. Uh, that's not hit us, is it? Is it? Cheese? Cheese? Is this cheese? Is this actual cheese? Oh, it's... This is actually... Um... Okay. I'm impressed that this thing that's... It's headed clearly at my high can't hit me. Oh, uh, now I can. Ladies and gentlemen, we found cheese! I think. Never mind, it's not cheese, it's not cheese. I... I got too greedy. It's not cheese! It's not cheese. But it's better than what we had before, so... That fire, though. What just happened? It's just like, get over here. Oh, fine, fine. We'll fight you legit. We'll fight you legit. Is that what you want? I need to get better at, at timing in the dodge on the this thing anyway. Come on, cleanse me. Cleanse me. And we're dead. It was almost cheese. It was almost cheese. Yep. I do wonder though, with the root monster, I mean, the, the, the tree monster, well, one, can it fit in that area over there? And two, if it attacks the shrimp, do the shrimp attack back? If either of those are the case, that could be, you know, the way we beat it. Uh, we're dead. <laughs> well, rip 36,000 runes. <laughs> Gravity! <laughs> Gravity returns! I know, police, I know. But on the bright side, we don't have to worry about losing 36,000 runes if we don't have it. That doesn't make me feel better, Anton. It's, that's half a level up at this point. Oh, yes, the Grand Cloister is in the Pokemon. Yes, so much yes. Alright, what we're going to do against that thing. Before facing the tree monster we'll clear ourselves a new path. Uh, here it comes. I want to get the guy who's here. Oh, we're dead. We're just dead, yep. Probably attacking those guys out from a distance. I agree, Felice. All right, no problem. Proper Nicklin. Best luck. Best wishes with saying for the damn dude. Make sure guy did nice rest too. All right, things on your end, Rekor. I know uh, you said mentioned working on some resumes. All right. So what we do? We'll use this as cover. Nice shot, police. Thanks, Antonis. All right, Crockford. Well, then tell you what. Uh, I, I did I want. I'm sure Lazy Day will will come up up from here and then to record, but you gotta stick with it, cause that, as you know, you you 
you, you've heard the phrase garbage in, garbage out, right, Grekor? So it's important that you put in, you know, the effort to, you know, cons consistently and you'll, and you'll get somewhere. So, I mean, if you want to, you can pull something up right now and start working on it. I don't mind. It's going to be us uh, clearing shrimp uh, in the short term. I wonder if they worship Marika. Is, is, uh, is that Marika? I'm not sure. Actually, with the amount of damage we do to these guys, I do wonder. What would, like, a headshot gray arrow look like? <laughs> yes! Uh-oh. Throw it through! Uh, never mind. Uh... I think through and through is an order, chat. All right, line it up. Throw it through. That did not work. Throw it through. I'm amazed that's not hitting him. There we go. That's disappointing. All right. I like the head the headshots just yeet them back. Yeah. Also, for for real chat, this uh, that was actually a good use of the great bow too. Like they seem to have a, a range limit there, and the great arrows did a lot of damage. So it all worked out. Take that shrimp! You're no match for my I on. For my great, um, for my great bow. All right. So now that we've done that, we have, as they say, possibilities. So there's this area. I swear that's a mana chest. So when we summon the tree monster, we just run over here and try and make use of the geometry to our advantage. I say. In fact, I wonder, can we actually? No, they won't let us cheese our way up there, would they? Oh, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Come on. I feel like if we got that at just the right angle, we would have hit it. No. I didn't feel it, Antonis. I know, Felice. I know. We're right there. But th there's no reason for us to go up there, though. There's no shinies. That's true. Anything in here? Um, all right, is it evil? It's not. Scorpion stinker. Ooh. What is this? It's kind of dagger. No, oh, it is. Oh, yo. Shame this isn't a dadder run, chat, because this probably would have been one of the best dadders. It causes Scarlet Rot buildup. How about that? It's a very good dadder. <laughs> well, at the very least, it'll go to my collection of, of useless shiny things. Why? Because I like collecting shiny things. Eh. Yo, we got up here. Let's go. 
You know, there's nothing I do up here, unfortunately. I know, please, I know. Now that looks ominous. We'll, we'll get to. Wait, 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 wait. No. No. Chat, you see it, don't you? And I don't have to take another bad nap. It looks like the police. Darn it. Hopefully this time it's it works out okay. <laughs> We're gonna go even lower down, so there's more. Like it's like Where are we even going? Like what's this building up to? <laughs> these are the these are the real questions. Any butterflies? Mayhaps? Nope, just nice butterflies. Alright. Chat, you know the drill. Time to pull out the big guns. Take that, shrimp! Heh, <laughs> that felt good. I know, police. We don't like the shrimp. I'm so happy we got the Golem Rape Bow. It has the highest damage potential, I think, of most of the Rape Bows. Unless the Earth Tree, unless there's like a Holy Rape Bow, that might maybe do higher for Holy damage, but whatever, it's... It's all good. And I prob... So, so the problem with this thing is we have to actually run all the way over there to spawn it. And then we'll basically be running, so... I say we flask up. We go for it. Run, 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 run. Alright, here he comes. Run to me. Run, 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 He's getting closer! I know, police. Drink. Alright. Oh! We found his limit! Apparently that's his limit. But he should be light spawned out now. I hope it's not that we have to run him all the way back there to make him spawn down. I hope he's just there. I mean, there has to, I mean, I, I think it's just all of it comes back to dodge roll time and stuff and learning the attack patterns like most other bosses. It's just, the, he moves in such erratic ways it can be kind of hard to get used to. Swipey swipe, and then he goes for the follow up slam. Whoa! Well, that was a lunge. Up, oh, and now we're dead. Bye, please. Enjoy your Scarlet Rot. Which unfortunately we can't cure without the, the boluses, so a lot of timer now. Alright, buddy. Alright. Uh bolus. Uh yeah.
Ah, I see, Rekor, I see. And it happens, dude. Hey, if we're gonna be doing hit and run stuff like this, we might as well go all out. There's no reason not to. And uh, since we're not at full health, this wasn't helping us, so uh, range will help us. All right, that's enough. Run, police! Side swipe! And overhead slam. for it. Oh, cancel. Not we all have rough nights, but it's sure that you're able to look at it and and learn from it, you know. I can't believe this is a thing. It's nice for quick heals. today, sir. Not sure what he's doing. We don't have to puzzle, chat! We don't have to puzzle. Yeah, decent amount of runes, too. And a gold C, we did it, chat! I wouldn't necessarily say this is cheese chat in so much as abusing the fact, um, just the, the limitations of uh, how far enemies can go in certain areas and soul stains. So this is not a new, like, tactic. Like, stuff like. Like this has been undoable ever since, like, uh... I don't remember with Havel the Rock, he couldn't go past that certain tower unless you were, like, really forcing him to, so you could use that doorway as sort of a way to... Oh, you mean the healing cheese. Oh yeah, that's how I found out about that. Like, when people were saying, you know, where to get the Celestial Dew Talisman, they're like, you know, you also can do this. It's not so much cheese as it is a time saver when you're passively waiting to heal and don't want to waste, waste a flash, so... And now we killed the tree monster. My concerns... What concerns me is that I don't know if this is going to lead to a boss battle or not. Like, I have no idea what to expect. 
And I think, do we have enough for a level up? We do. All right. How are we doing on right arrows? Oh, not much room reserve. All right. Well, looks like we need to go for a shopping trip, chat. Yeah, <laughs> how are you doing, Andre? I was not great, surprisingly. You don't say. You must I don't know, but not, not bad. I put the wrong thing. Candy. Actually, we're here. We might as well give the uh, the the bells to the the merchant, the merchant twins. Right, what does that give us? Oh, gravity stones. Cool, and various grave warts. Or glove warts, I should say. Also noticing no arrows, though, so... We must see Santa. Since we are decently close to a level up, no harm going to the, the old grind spot. Fully upgraded uh, black bow. This is a great grind spot, at least for right now. Especially compared to a boulder spot. The down is right next to the side of grace, so the efficiency is real. Place now, do you feel comfortable? Call it going uh, back over there right now. Let's just wait for the shrimp to go by and then we'll do our thing. Actually, they might not know if it's if we just sit to the right over here. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. He saw something, Talents. I know, Felice. I know. Uh, I have no idea, uh, Drakor. It's a good question. Because that was a thing in Pat and Frugus, uh, you know, in Dark Souls too. All right, 
Every time I've tried to sleep in one of these coffins, it's always gone terribly for me. But maybe this time's the charm. After all, there's stellar rot poison everywhere, so hope maybe that'll deter any would-be disturbers. Eh, just need to push this over here. All right. <laughs> Wait, what's happening? Ah! Oh, Felice. <laughs> I thought I'd get a nap for once! For once! <laughs> she fits, she fits. She fits, if she fits, she sits, she falls. Yeah, pretty much. Alright, where am I this time? Um... Whoa. I know what's like, um... What was the name of that place in Dark Souls 2? So, in Dark Souls 2, there was this place where it's like there... The thing I distinctly remember about is the urns that would just completely eat away your armor super fast. And it was at the bottom of, uh... Oh, we're in this area. It was at the bottom of... Uh, the gutter. I, it was a different area. I think it was called, like, the Gulch or something. It was... It's the place where you fought the Rotten, so... This kind of reminds me of that, just the coloration. I know it's not exactly the same. Uh, that Gulch had more, like, leeches and things, but it had a greenish tint to it. This is certainly ominous. Yeah, it, that place, Strathford, exactly. The poison statues were everywhere. There were just also tons of breakable urns that would completely destroy your armor, like, super fast with, like, whatever was in there. So it, in a way, it was kind of clever design in the sense that it forced you to, you know, t if you didn't want to have to constantly break and repair your armor, it was actually, you know, it rewarded people who tried to not wear armor. Poison, yeah, annoying, though. Alright, chat. Is this gonna be a boss arena, or is it just gonna be a new area, I wonder? Oh no, it's definitely a boss arena! Oh dear. Well, chat, I did say... It did seem a bit odd that we went this far without having, like, a, a main boss, so to speak. Like, granted... Way back here in the Deep Root Gardens, there was the Prince of Death Throne, but, you know, like, I as cha Feast Champions, but those were like a... a side thing. There's no side race, Red Door, that's why there's a, 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 a stake of Marka there. But there was like, you know, but ever since we got past the, you know, Great Waterfall Basin, it's just been open area after open area after open area, and now we're here. I'm sure this is gonna be like some kind of super boss. I guess we'll find out, though. Oh, yeah, the stake is right there. Let's see this. What the heck is that thing?! Um... Woo, okay, okay. I see. Alright, giant scorpion, celestial monster thing. Have at me. What's it doing? <laughs> so this is where Radon learned gravity shot, isn't it? Probably police. What? <laughs> Okay, that's clearly doable. We just need to not be dumb and dodge that. Yeah, no, the thing is that tail has a very obvious tell to it. I just didn't know what to what to expect. This is my first time playing the boss, so. Hmm.
you know, the distance we have to fight this thing at, rain, like, we're, we're, we're fighting this thing from a distance. We might honestly be better off without this and just switching over to that. And that would, yeah, there's no way we're in right here. All right, then. I guess that was a dodge. Somehow. Oh, yeah. The damage is better. I, I forgot to dodge. All right. Wait for the follow-up. I, I thought I timed that right. Oh well. Wait. Okay, okay, we can't dodge by jumping. I, I just wanted to see. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Where go? Oh. This is totally a doable boss, but it need not be done. Run, run, run. We need more distance. We need more distance. Oh dear. For a second there, I thought we were about to hit command grab, so. Not good at anything. attack. There's not a teleport near us. Or not. What is it doing? What is it doing? What is it doing? What is it doing? Super attack? such an erratic way it's honestly better to I, I think it's honestly better to aim for this thing oh you missed you missed Take hey, that Saw those days, I was like, Yep, guess we'll shall die. And then police resistance acted. So, can we wait? Can we? Yeah, no, we got a we got a remembrance, which means we, you know, it's gonna give us something. I don't know what, but so this is what you were high in Radon. Was this like your master, the thing, the thing that taught you all the gravity stuff? That'd be my desk, police. Cause there definitely seems to be a lot of parallels here. I'm also, wow, look at that. That's a... Uh, that's something. Such a beautiful underground area. What is this? I think I... 
I think that's the first time we've seen the words legend felled when defeating something. So clearly it was some kind of super boss. What is this? Not the rainbow. Of... What? Oh, that's now fine. I want to know what's behind this door. Me too, police. Me too. But I guess we'll have to find out. Yeah, that could be the case. I mean, to be fair, it took a while to get here. Like, remember, we had to start part from here and go all the way like this through here, over here, and <laughs> to get here. So, well, a bit of an adventure in the underground continent to get this far. So, definitely worthy of a legend, I think. Yeah, let's level up and then see what this um, remembrance gives us. Imagine if we get to this, um... If we go in to turn in our remembrance, it's just like, um, police, how do you get this? And police like, don't ask questions. I just did a thing. Ooh. Remembrance of the natural born. Take the power of its name, stay true. What we got? A flail. Oh, is this like its tail? Flail, which deals magic damage. Cool. Formed by the main color. You need still nebula. View with matches report with sweeping strike. These are dark cloud stars. Oh, it's that attack. They exploding stars. That's cool. Waves of darkness. Plunge armament into ground to release three waves of darkness. Follow up with a strong attack to swing. Useful on gray axes, gray hammers, gray spears, and colossal weapons. That's probably a fantastic art of war. Unfortunately, none of this are particularly useful to us, so... I'll just be left, left alone. Yep, exactly. So, reference is like the boss souls. But not every boss drops like this. You know, there's a lot of bosses in this game. All right. Well, chat, this actually brings up a, a small bit of a conundrum. We've had such a fun time exploring the undergrounds that we've forgotten that the overworld still exists. <laughs> so, here's what I'm thinking. There's a tiny, tiny smidge of Limgrave that remains unexplored. Is that this area over here? So, what I'm thinking is I'll go just briefly walk through here and while i do that i'll put up a poll in in chat uh to let you guys vote in terms of what we want to do now so there's a couple of things i can think we could do one would be to go explore this area since it's supposed to be an intermediate area and we don't want to get more overpowered than we already are before we're exploring this area in full another would be to go explore caleb some more because now we're you know pretty well equipped at this point and the third would be to do, be kind of go and explore up here in the uh, west for the plateau. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna put up a poll, and uh, then we'll go from there. All right, chat. So, like I said, I'm going to finish this for him, this last little part of Limbrave, and then we'll... And then uh, I'll see what the results of the poll are.
Yeah, Copper Knuckles. And it's it's much more important to know why something is right or wrong than to know what the answer is or is not. So, definitely much better to, to, to learn, you know? Well, Pumpkin Head's back. But because it's limb drain, everything is super weak, so. You're a disgrace to the Pumpkin Head name. Oh, wow, well, I'll take that. Anyway, chat, feel free to vote in the chat poll, and we'll see what you guys want to see. I wouldn't be surprised if there's, like, a dungeon down there. That seems like prime sus territory. But we'll need to find a way down. The bright side, we can use Torrent now. Merchant! Merchant friend. Why do you sell? Let's see. Oh, we can grab poison arrows. I mean, to be fair, it's easier to buy them, but whatever. We'll, we'll take it. I'm afraid of them. Turtles. Anyway. Please, do you feel a kindred spirit? I mean, they're not cat turtles. Well, at least we're part kindred spirits. Hello, fellow turtle. How are you doing? Don't bother me. Well, fine. Be more polite next time. Alright, so I'm thinking... Oh, I'm dead. Oh, uh, I'm dead. Oh, I guess we're exploring up here then. But I'm just thinking, like, I need to remember not to forget to explore this area down here, so... A little marker there. What shinies await us, police? That is the question. Well, Copper Nippleton, it's like you were saying, it's much more important to learn why something's correct heads or not than learning what the correct answer is. And that's because, again, if you know why something is the way, you know, is correct or not, then that'll help you in lots of situations. Whereas knowing in what the correct answer is only helps you in an extremely specific situation. And it's not even helping you, that's not even learning, that's just rough memorization, and that's not helpful. What is that? <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> Is that like a, is that a robo-enemy? Where's the, where, where is he? I saw a robo. Yeah. The heck is this? Summon Water Village. Are you friend or foe? What? This is a boss? Okay! Boat boss! Boat boss! What the heck is this? <laughs> A boat boss? Alright, I'll admit, I never would have expected this. The Who expects a robo boss? Like, what the? Unfortunately, he can't handle it. And he failed. Skeleton militia matches and death root. Oh, I'll give the from software props for unique enemy design. Like that, that was definitely new. And I think that probably would have been a nice gank boss for early game. But uh, 
yeah, where we're at right now, not too bad. Uh, pretty easy. Um, anything else around here? I think there's gotta be more around here besides just the boss. Right! In fact, uh, we were so far away from the skeletons that they didn't even abro to us when we were attacking the boss, so... Any other shinies? Stairs, perhaps? Not seeing anything. Alright. Well, unless there's like a really well-headed stairwell around here somewhere. Oh, there's a stairwell. Uh-oh, we actually need to center. That's ominous. What's down here? <laughs> Turtles? Okay. Watch the turtles become like super turtles. It's the turtle fortress. I wonder what the turtles would be draw would be guarding here. Green turtle talisman. It must be good if this better be like a really good talisman if, if it costs us a stone sword key. Let's see what it does. Raises math. No, no. Raise stamina. Recovery speed. <gasps> Chad, it's the Florithy Raid. It's the Florithy Raid. It was. It was worth it. It was a hundred percent worth it. We found the Florithy Raid. <laughs> All right. We need to do a test. So, let's just find some random enemy to test this on. I want to see what the recovery speed's like. To see how it stats with the, the turtle shield. So, let's just find... I just... Well, that's not going to be a great example, because now we're stacking with that. Um... Is that...? No, it's just a, a fire one. Alright. Uh, we do need more flight pinions, though, so... One second. There's an enemy we can use for a test. Alright. Dragonfly? Maybe? No. What is this place? That's some kind of church. Yeah, that's a great question, Rekord. It'd be interesting to see what made them choose turtles of all things. I mean, I think it, I think for the the like the grass crest shield, it's kind of funny because again, you always wear the grass crest shield on your bats, so they made it a turtle shell. Would it be hilarious, chat, if like the whole justification for using all these tours tours is was just like someone's like, hey, you know, it'd be funny. What if we made the grass crest shield a turtle shell because people never actually use it as a shield; they always wear it on their back. And if that's like the whole reason there are turtles in this game. Again, that's probably not what it is, but I think it'd be hilarious if that was the case. Anyway, not really seeing much else around here. So... Yeah, there's still that area down there, though, so... Let's go... Is the Murkwar cow comes? Oh! Poland ended. 
Well, we got one vote for Kaelin and one vote for the Atlas Plateau, so I would probably say... I guess we need to kind of alternate dungeons just for a little bit this stream. Do a little bit of Kaelin, do a little bit of Atlas Plateau. I don't want to leave the West Peninsula behind completely, but thanks for your feedback, chat. Actually, we probably should do the Atlas Plateau first. We get a, a little bit of the Atlas Plateau, because if you really think about it, chat, we've barely done anything in the Atlas Plateau, but we've done a ton of stuff in Kaelin. So. I'm going to down here again. Well. Well, it was a tie, Copper Nicholson. I'm saying we should start with the Atlas Plateau just because we haven't done much there, so. Oh. here like it's literally right here okay interesting all right tentacle monster all right so the real question is is there anything of value in this area or are we just kind of on a wild goose chase I'd be interested in our shinies and uh, sub dungeons. So, is there one that's that in here? Maybe. Uh, there's something here. I see that bonfire. Is that like is that like a, an isolated merchant? I wonder. Hmm. There is a sub dungeon chat! Sub dungeon, I mean, we'll probably just get a side race and then go to. Uh, yeah. Well, I have a side race, we'll see if that's an isolated merchant and then we'll uh, go from there. Sub dungeon. I mean, it probably won't take us that long to clear this unless there's like some ultra rare super boss here. Because then we are, you know, equipped for mid to late game, and this is the starting game area. So there was, in fact, a sub dungeon here. I also see a bonfire, so I'm curious if it's like an isolated merchant. I saw a bonfire, didn't I? What? Oh, there. No! No! Atomics! Why does this always happen? I don't know, police. I don't know. And, and Lem Grave, no last. Come on. I'd say fair, police. Rabbit's probably the only thing that could kill you in Lem Grave, unless we're being really silly. It doesn't. No excuses. Okay, it's not a merchant. It's a shiny. 
turtleneck me. Why is this here? Okay. I'll chat. We'll pick up uh, in this cave after a quick break. So don't worry, guys. I will be right back. All right, chat, sorry about that. No, Copper Nicholson, no. You should learn why something is the case that's more valuable to you. Because think of it this way. I mean, when I was in engineering school, I felt that I thought it was very important to learn why things are the right answer or why things are the wrong answer versus what an answer is because... That taught me how to think through the problem, how to solve the problem, how to basically adapt myself so that no matter what combination of things they threw at me, I could have a reasonable chance of getting it right. Or if I got it wrong, at least he get partial credit because I understood at least the process of what I'm doing. 
So that's what that would be my general recommendation for learning anything in general. So like again, learning why is so much more important than learning what. So if this way is forward, that way's back up. Okay. Oh, Anywho. Uh oh, is it just going straight to a boss? It might. Uh I see Dotto. We can easily one shot. Oh, is this gonna be like the fall down deeper and deeper cave? Oh, there's a few dottos. Heh, <laughs> stay bad, dottos. <laughs> oh, that one said two hits. No idea. Whoa. <laughs> okay, that was a slide. Um... Let's go up before we go down. Illusory wall? No. Why is it glowing though? Be just a weird. Okay. Strange things, chat. Strange things. Just a bunch of dados. Interesting how this place kind of tells a story just with the way the level's laid out. It seemed like some explorers went down here, got lost, and stuff happened. A test already taking copper and it'll send a psychology test the way that's a uh... be pertinent for what you're applying for if that's what you're doing. And the other thing is, if it's something very obscure, like something really weird like that, that'll actually sit down in your mind. It might be easier to remember. Got a lot cooler. Look at this chat. This is a pretty cool looking area. I like this. This is really cool. I'm honestly reminded of like the uh why I forget is it like the catacombs or something? In Dark Souls 1. I like that open area. Yeah, you know what I bet for early game dungeon, this looks pretty darn cool. Like No! I I 
was hoping that wouldn't be deep. Me too, police. <laughs> I hope- I'm also hoping that was the right spot. Like, I don't- How are we supposed to get down there? Like, the... Oh dear, nope! <laughs> okay. Can't see anything. Let's just... Or not. What are they expecting, then? Wait, we're not supposed to make that jump, then. Well, actually, maybe I just need that right and start. That, that could be it. That's, that's more like it. Sham Shear. What did you do? Well, wrong time to check. Some kind of curves. Wow. Okay. Light of weight despite its large size, slightly attached to a rapid suggestion. Okay, so it's like a fast attack sort of thing. Interesting. Mario Souls, indeed. Well, Copper Nickel said, it sounds to me like what they're testing you on in this particular place is like just gen general procedures for working at customer service for, I guess, like a phone line or something. So it, that's just like, it's like a company policy sort of thing. Also, I see that path there. Makes me curious. Yo, green tea wasted. Thanks for dropping by, dude. How you, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Welcome. We're actually exploring a pretty cool dungeon right now. With our good friend, Police. Oh, this is the boss arena. Okay. Well, we'll come back to that in a second. It's only one of the coolest looking early game dungeons. Especially with this whole water area. Oh, wait. <laughs> Didn't think that through, Anton, I said you. No, I did not, police. No, I did not. Oh, that stream's going well, uh, uh, Greasy Wasted. We actually just finished this floor in the underground area, fought a, a super boss. It was actually gave us the whole, uh, legend, uh, uh, Feld at the end, which is the first time we've seen that. And now we're uh, finishing up an early game area before heading to the Atlas Plateau. Hey, Spot Kid, thanks for dropping by, dude. How you been? But yeah, uh, what's new with you, Rinty Wasted? And what's new with you, Spot Kid? Can we go that way? There's a cave there. Whoa. Interesting. All right, one second. Adventure awaits. Um, I'm so glad we have a lantern for this. This would not have been easy to traverse without it. Oh. Also, did we can jump over that? Oh, yep, we do have uh, our death counter, so... For those who don't know, I'm not sure if the death counter is uh, visible right now, but I actually use Dorothy, uh, my main, the main character from the game I'm developing called Hartwell. Uh, one of her animations is right there. One of her animation frames is there in the bottom right to the death counter. Uh, anywho, what do we do now? Where do I go from here? We can't go back. Uh, can we jump down there? 
That will be a leap of faith. Oh. oh, come on! No! No! Well, let's video the duck counter. We had it! We totally had it! That's, and then we slipped. Must have been all the water that's everywhere. Probably, police. Probably. Yeah, we did learn there's a solid ground near the pillar. Um, we're shinies. Oh, there's a path there. I will say though, this is very much a Dark Souls 2 dungeon, and why do I say that? Because it's clearly one way. There's no way to walk back out. You'd have to teleport out. Unless, unless the boss like leads to like some uh, path back out to the surface. Do, do, do. Oh. Hello, tentacle friend. And by that I mean no. Oh right, this is an early game area. They do practically no damage. So... This way? Yep. Shame. Alrighty. Oh, you're working on a drawing. That's awesome, Spudkip. Uh, is it a secret what it's about? Or is it uh, something you can divulge? Oh, it's a summer tour. That's awesome. I look forward to seeing it then. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, speaking of, uh, well, Toa, you all know that I'm very much interested in challenge running Trails of Cold Steel 2. It's a really a question of when, not necessarily if. Like, I already... Like, I literally already have Trails of Cold Steel 2. It's, it's sitting there in my Steam library, waiting for the right moment. It's just determining when for that should be. But anyway, boss time. Oh, no! It's a Guardian doll of chat. Can you imagine fighting this early game? This would be nightmarish. Police. 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 Get up. Well, we got it, but only because we're, you know, I have like game equipment. Blue dancer charm. Cool. Cool. Oh, you have a challenge run idea? Cool. What is it? Uh, my thought record, yes, would be to continue laundry percent. Because, you know, it it was a salt only challenge in Trails of Cold Steel 1. Uh, doing it uh, that way, where we couldn't uh, upgrade our gear. Like, it was hard, but it was also made it really engaging. Like, the, it made Nightmare Mode really engaging, in my view. Hey, Amplu, that's dropping by. How's it going? Uh, it would be after at least this Elden Ring challenge run. Still kind of up in the air whether I would want to do a another Elden Ring challenge run at the same time as uh, Trails 2. It's Trails of Cold Steel 2. No, Crow Wars. No! <laughs> so, so my death, the thing is, no Crow Wars only affects late game. It won't affect early game, whereas Laundry Percent affects the entire game. Like, it's the full thing. Like, we can't... There's no equipment, there's no, like, curing staffs, uh, is spots or things like that. Like, I have I've read that, like, for some of the bosses in Trails of Cold Steel 1's Nightmare Mode, like, the strategy is to, like, have certain equipment so that you don't, like, get frozen, like, that one ice boss. But we had to get past without that, and that was an interesting challenge. Oh, cool, Ian Flit, that's awesome. Best wishes finishing Devil May Cry 4. But yeah, now Lindbrave is... We've done most of the stuff in Lindbrave. 
time to head to the Atlas Plateau. And what better place to start? The Earth Tree Phasing Hill? Yeah, what better place to start at the Atlas Plateau? Than the Dragon that we haven't defeated yet. Oh, also, I, I don't know what the Blue Dancer Charm does, so... <gasps> oh! Oh, chat! <laughs> Our time has come! Our time has come! It's the rain that freezes attack, power overflow, equip load! <laughs> uh, the thing is, I'm not sure. I... I reserve the right to use Chrono Burst if I feel there's no other viable way forward in Laundry Percent, because I think with, like, the... with the sea fight especially, especially since it took place after another boss, I just don't see how we would have done that battle without it. Like, I, like if we had, like, the right stat, you know, if we, you know, if we could get our mass equipment up and stuff, then sure, there's probably a strat to do it without Chrono Burst. But with lowered stats, because we don't have that equipment, you know, that the ability to upgrade our equipment, it's like, there really wasn't much other choice, like... Same could be said about the final boss. Like, I understand that it's definitely... It's definitely cheesy, but it's like, I don't... I reserve... I think that's sort of like the nuclear option, so to speak. But that being said, I do enjoy coming out with different strats because that was part of the final 100% one, one, was trying to figure out all the different stuff to to do against uh, different situations. I mean, isn't, like, what's the earliest you can even get Chrono Burst anyway? Isn't it like chapter 5 or 6? So it's pretty late game. So right now, our attack power is... Uh, 339. I'm curious, like, where's the limit here? So, I'm gonna start equipping... I think we're probably gonna have to be underneath 50%, so... How low do we have to get? Oh, it started to go up. It's our equip load right now. Alright, if we get rid of... Oh! Okay. Alright, just for the sake of argument, we got rid of Turtle Shield. Wow! <laughs> that is a massive increase in damage. We're also wearing nothing right now, but whatever. But I mean, like, that is not an insignificant amount of increase in damage. <laughs> you know? I mean, for the moment we put on the imp head, it's going to be... Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Well, actually, what if we put on the mushroom... Okay, so the mushroom head's actually pretty heavy. Uh... I think this falls into the category of situational, but potentially very useful. I prefer our, t our tankier style for, for now, but if there ever comes a point where we need to do max damage, we could use that as a... as a means to do that. Very cool, though. Alright, uh, anything else about tip? Or was that just something you were on to bring up about Chrono Burst? Uh, okay, where is the... Is this where we fought the dragon? I'm trying to remember. No, this is just before. Pretty close to Magma Worm Makar, maybe. The 
been so long since we've been in this area. Uh, I, I probably also say no to that, at least for Trails of Cold Steel, but because the thing is, in Trails of Cold Steel, there aren't very many characters, and we die so much that that like I could definitely see us just soft locking us out of a, a run. So that's why I'm thinking, like, just at least for the Trails of Cold Steel, sticking with laundry percent seems like a good idea, because I feel like the laundry percent rule set was made it a, a good challenge. Like, it wasn't impossible, it wasn't insanely grindy, but at the same time, it also was harder than what I'm assuming is a normal nightmare mode run would be. Exactly, Rekor. Right. I, I prefer to avoid soft resets. The closest we ever came to that was the Hat and Time Pompous Challenge run, and all I'll say to that is, if you want to see how that, you know, how soft resets went, just go look at the, um, uh, the, the third chapter of the cruise uh, levels and how many times we had to reset that level. Like, that was a pain. Did I seriously never touch that race? I guess not. Shows what I know about this area. I'm amazed I never ever found that outside race before. Oh well. But yeah, Dryden's just up that hill. What else is around this area? Hard resets are a bait. Uh, generally, we want to avoid that. I mean, at least with like Pokemon, there's plenty of you know Pokemon, so that's a bit more forgiving with those locks. Oh, oh, it's just gonna point us right down there, isn't it? Yep. There's a dungeon. See what we got. Oh, it requires this too. All right then. S Super dungeon maybe. A hey. unsightly catacombs. That's a name. Let's see what we got. Uh, okay, it's the the human. Oh, well, sorry. The, I think it's the demi humans that they're what they're called. <laughs> that guy went flying. Oh yeah, Tifa. Well, actually, we get to the end of this, and the boss is really pretty. Or we get to the end of it, I swear, we get to the end of this and it's just another stinking, um, what, what's it called? Or, or tree burial watchdog, I'll be very, very annoyed. Because how many times have we fought the Urtree burial watchdog at this point?
Not too bad so far. Oh, it's one of these dungeons. We've literally been in a dungeon just like this where we have to drop down before. Though, to be fair, that area wasn't blocked off, so. Well, we're in for a dungeon. That's for sure. They have Dados too. ominous. Oh, now we're at the... Wait, no, this is a different area. Interesting. Oh, this is the boss room. Okay. Well, that's the boss room. Then we need to drop down and go to other spots. Oh, yeah, shark talk your time. Oh, well, foul twin. Thumbs up. I'm just hoping that spot doesn't build up Scarlet Rod. Let's look at the kind of place that would. Okay, it's just water. Wayne's Misbegotten Ashes, yo. That's cool. Oh, there's the lever. Got a rune arc, nice. Hey, apologies. Cool. All right, chat. Let's play. It's boss time. Boss time. poison build up which means if we equip this helmet we should do extra damage if you'd stop hiding behind that thing come on that's more like it are we really doing this This is silly. Fine, if you're not hiding behind it, I'll just do it the hard way. <laughs> there we go. Boss defeated. Perfumer Tricia. Alright, decent amount of runes. Yeah, it was an interesting boss. I'm guessing the reason that she was hiding behind that shield is to, you know, try to be an assistant to the uh, the lion attacker. Definitely more interesting than the first time we fought that lion boss, but, eh. It was still... It just kind of existed. 
Also, I, I will mention that the perfumer barely threw anything else because I think we we're sitting to the edges of the arena and kind of hunt around the center. Definitely an interesting boss. I'll, I'll, I'll give the dungeon cred that it did not do another Urchery Burial watchdog. I can appreciate that much. Now, the other thing I noticed is there was actually a lower area, so I do want to go check that out really quick. Nice dodge, please. Yeah, no, enough of the dog statues. We've, we fought enough of them already. I mean, even in Kaelin, we fought one, we literally fought like two of them at once. Yeah, there's down there to contend with. Um. Oh, never mind. It's actually where we were before. Never mind. I thought, uh. I was mistaken. Well, Copper Edwards, that sounds to me like you're working it for some. You're applying for some kind of customer service or clerk job. Based off of what's your, your ring there. Uh, you also mentioned that there were some, I think like there was some uh, services you were working with, Copper Nicholson. How's that going? I'm not talking about the exam, I'm talking about the services that, you know, you had to submit stuff to. Alright, well, I mean, fair, fair enough, Copper Nicholson. Well, I mean, to be fair, that is, cus you know, being a library clerk is, you know, part customer service. You are trying to help them find stuff, so I guess that's what makes sense. And also, the, the beat, beat vocabulary stuff might be useful for showing that you are able to demonstrate your ability to navigate, you know, to learn like all the different books and stuff. Ooh. Cool. Not even shiny. Ah, okay, fair enough. Huff Copper Nicholson. So you've submitted your stuff, you're just waiting to hear back from them. Makes sense. Uh anything else out here? There's a shiny. There's also a big one. All right, my shiny. Hey, that wasn't too bad. Ooh, we can hop up here. That's cool. Look at this chat. Parkour, parkour, horse edition. Now it's a lot lasted. Indeed, police. Sacred Order. Ooh, cool. We'll definitely take those Ashes of War. Yeah, how would you want to bet in this giant swamp there's gonna be like some super walls? I mean, I see a bunch of flowers, but something's gonna swoop in and be like, surprise. It feels like the kind of thing that would happen. A 
let's just uh, aha I'm live chat cave chat found ourselves a cave sage's cave cool Did use a ton of arrows, so I might want to go restock. Or not. Indeed, Red War, indeed. It was beautiful. Stock up on arrows. That was a that was a hefty investment. All right, let's see what we got, chat. Oh no, Cape of Illusions, chat! It's a Cape of Illusions! How dare walls not obey the laws of physics. area chat that yeah bottomless pit I think yeah all right surely one of these has to be a mimic chest right no okay See you. Yeah! Alright, I need to defeat that guy, so he took the hit. I'd be shocked if there wouldn't be at least one minute. That just seems so strange to me. It's a Souls game, you know? Oh wow, there's a lot of Stanley Bros here. Hey, boop that. Boop that!
All right. Okay, yeah, no, this area sucks. Why are there four here? Surely one of these is a mimic, right? Maybe. Why would there be four? No? Okay. Well, let's see what we got. Nice and butterfly. Candle tree wooden shield. Okay. Life bird size and he's an animal, though ought to represent a superstitious prophecy of cardinal sin, the left candle tree. The sign was forbidden. Alright. Black hood. Probably just for show. All right. All right. That was just some some random items. I'm gonna be so paranoid about this area chat that we. Assuming we probably missed something, because it's it's all just invisible walls. Stone sword cake, nice. Chat every wall. Golden Great Arrows, cool. Radiant with Breeze. Raptor Talons, okay. Yeah, claw weapons. Oh, it's it's literally the stuff they that the that the um that like the birds use. Cause blood loss, interesting. Uh, there's no way we're supposed to drop down there, right? Oh, okay, so there's a, a place to jump. Okay, about to say. That's clearly a loser of walls or anything over here. Um, boss wall. Okay. One moment. Anything in here? Loser wall. Aha! Also boss wall. Okay. Hmm. Back here. Oh, chat. I think this is the armor someone told me about. Like, they, they said there was armor that increases jump attack damage. Let's see. Uh, well, it's definitely worse on defense, which is surprising no one. It's medium armor. Yep, strengthens jump attacks. We are birds of prey, rares of death, indeed. Well, you know what we're wearing, chat. Oh, that looks so cool, chat. Look how cool that looks. I am a bird of prey. Fear me. <laughs> Stand 
skeletal mask, what do you do? Skeletal mask, uh, rips the face, worn by the assassins of Raven Mounts. <laughs> yeah, fashion souls indeed. But more importantly, it might be practical. Oh, a necromancer, interesting. We do 247 on the regular attack. Is it doing less? Oh, no, wait, no, I don't have thrust counter damage. Probably not the best place to test out the, the jump attack uh, versus damage. But I do want to test it out. Oh, two six. Six, what? Oh, okay. I think the jump is. I, I can't tell. We'll have to test out a different enemy. I want to see if it's actually helping or not. I'm realizing I'm going to run out of arrows at this rate. Gotta be careful with my attacks. Come on. Let's go! We got him! Got him! Enemy failed! Do get some arrows. Okay, so we need to test whether the jump attack damage is actually doing more damage. So, I think there's an enemy around here. Yep. You shall be our test subject. Actually, no, Barry, we can use the jugs as our test subject. So we hit um, 386. Let's just make sure that wasn't some kind of attack. 487, okay. So that's when they're not paying attention and we hit them from behind. I honestly can't tell. Like, it's really strange. I made such weird variability here on damage. Uh, okay, so we can use yours our test dummy. All right, point blank. He's running up an attack. That's three hundred and two. Okay, so what we want to do is just. Hope we don't get a headshot and try to add a similar attack. Is it doing less damage? Am I being dumb? Hold on. More 43. Or am I just getting massive uh, variability here?
This is weird. Um. Okay, we need a new testing ground. Let's go to the tried and true Port Pharaoh. So we hit the sleeping bat, we deal 364. We jump attack. 345 did less damage? What? Four, seven. No, is it just where I'm heading? Okay, no, it did 345 when we did a normal jump attack with the out the armor equipped. I don't think it's helping chat. I think it's I think this is the same problem um, we were running into with the with the talisman. It doesn't actually seem to be doing more damage. Well, that's disappointing. I think it's people recommended this too, but I don't see it. It doesn't seem to actually be helping. See shinies. Full dark blue. Roller's mask. Roller's rope. Okay, cool. Anything over this way? Here comes the dragon. Dragon friends, or not dragon friends. Ancient dragon, lightning dragon. Drink. Gary. Here. Oh, yep, yep, yes, yes, I can. Yeah, absolutely, can. Dread and Fred. I'm not hitting from this distance. One moment. Am I hitting it? Oh, yeah, we can hit it. 
I was getting very confuzzled. Range is important, chat. Where'd he go? Oh, don't tell me he just despawns. Come back, Dragon Fred. Come back. Dragon Friend. No, he despawned. No. All right, we have to do it legit, as they say. Indeed, police. Indeed. Fine. Might as well use the. Let's use poison build up to our advantage. There's no reason not to. It's time to don the silly hat, chat. Become fun little cat. Dragon. Dragon. not respond. Maybe it has to be from, from down below. <gasps> yes, the Ministry of City Hats, indeed. Is it a daytime thing? Maybe. Copper Nipple saying, you gotta eat, dude. It's it's really, ri like, if you're, if you're if you're not well rested and you're not, uh, you know, you have food in your belly, it can be very, very, it's much harder to concentrate and study for things. Yeah, I agree. I 100% agree with Spot Dip. Eat. Dryden? Where'd the dragon go? No dragon, friends. Strange. Oh, I guess no dragon for the for the moment then. Chat, time to do dungeon hunting then. Look there, crap. Ash of War, Blood Blade, interesting. Okay. Just some random enemy. 
Oh, I see that though. Cavern. Okay then. Red. Uh, we're, we're going. Okay, we're alive. There was a floor, yeah, but I, I, I want to have some light first, so. Why did I do that? Yeah, but the shiny buttons in Breckwork. Yep, there it is. The shiny button. Anywho. Alright, what do we got? Oh, it's explosive memes. Oh, they dropped some million stones. That could be useful. Oh, let's let me find another mine chat. In fact, I've seen a similar layout to the other mine we found at, um, in the Weeping Peninsula. It's just we're starting from a different spot, seemingly. Means we have some exploring to do. Oh, we one-shot that guy. Okay. Anyway. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. Are there going to be shrimp here? I have no idea, uh, Raptor. Ooh, Voltrate Talisman 1. Nice. Well, let's just leave them to their own devices. Ah, oh, okay. I'll take those. Thank you very much. Thank, thanks, everybody, for the shinies. Now I'll be on my merry way. Police just starts throwing anger every single whole person here as she drives all the shinies. Always one of these nights. Oh, the two of them! No! The dank! The dank! The dank! The dank! It's real! We don't want the dank. Where they, where they needed. This was a mis this was a horrible mistake. Police want too many shinies, and it's coming to that. It's backfired again. I don't even know what the purpose of these crystals are, to be honest. So that's another conundrum here. All right, well at least they have that guy. They're unnecessarily tanky. We are going to die! We are going to die! Yep. 
To be fair, we deserve that. We were named way too greedy there. Way, way too greedy. Now, it's not how it lasted. Indeed, please. Indeed. Do have bone arrows? So, probably should have thought of this earlier. We have fire arrows, which means we can do this. Huh. Thought that would have worked on you. Oh well. <laughs> this guy's like, hmm. Alright, so the plan is. We lure them close to light some barrels and then blow them to smithereens. Wait for that guy to close to. Wait for it. Closer. Can you get any closer, sir? Please. Any closer? Oh, 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 oh. Wait. We have a customer. I said we had. No! It didn't work! No! Oh, will he get close to there, though, I wonder? Will our opportunity come? Come on, buddy! Don't you want to get close to- No! This is almost comical. Hoping that would defeat something. Right, the plan is grab their attention and go! Oh, that didn't work. Drink. Okay. Explosive barrels were supposed to be my friend. They betrayed us, chat. Yeah, this lower area stinks, so a lot. Hey, it's more slow. That's the boss arena. Well, as is boss time. It's gonna be a very expensive boss battle. What the heck is that? Oh, wait, wait. Oh, I missed time that. Let's just run under this guy's feet, please. And this way. Felice, it was a thing. I think that the point was we were supposed to use the barrels against it. Oh, I worry. It. it all worked out. It all worked out. Now. That's right. You walk away. Dun 
Hands out. Well, buddy, I'm right here. Yeah, it was a bit troll co uh, color to look like a stone giant. It kind of reminded me of like the the, lo the last giant in Dark Souls 2, I think. See some shinies, so take the shinies and be on our merry way. Alrighty, out we go. Well, all in due time, uh, Grokor, all in due time. Well, thing is, Rekor, if you're if you're all spending sensitive butts on anything, I'd spend that on Elden Ring personally. It has the most content. Dark Souls 3 is a fun game, but it's definitely a lot more linear than this. It doesn't have anywhere near as much content. Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 1 don't sale a lot, Rekor. Or at least when major sales occur. below there. Interesting. Anything around here? Any caves? Any secrets? Whoa, whoa. Oh, look at this place, chat. Like a major dungeon, possibly. Cool. Didn't even know this place existed. Pretty, indeed, police. Oh, it's the sloth enemy. Slot enemies. So happy that Torrent doesn't like gets poisoned or Scarlet Rot. That's very convenient. Oh, that was like a way in. What are Gecko's doing over there? Yep. Oh, well, that's gonna hurt. Ow.
The Shaded Tassel. Interesting. I see Grace. Man, this is giving me like, uh, what was that place called? That one valley, but the Poison Valley in Dark Souls 2. The one that's banned. Was it called Hunt? Harvest Valley, that's what I saw. It was definitely giving me Harvest Valley uh, vibes. Harvest Valley and uh, that one castle in Dark Souls 2. Near the end, I also had Poison Link, though. Oh, what are you? Well, you were something. Not anymore, though. Sludge's everywhere. Police is just unfazed by this guy. I had too much voice to be annoyed by that. Miranda powder. Intriguing. Sorry, it's just we don't see paintings very often and they're, you know, they lead to cool secret stuffs. Champion song painting. So let's just grab the shiny. Yeah, here yeah, there's no reason not to. That's better. Alright, guessing that was a side area, so now we'll continue the normal way through. It, it is a little tiny Harvest Valley in a way. I wonder how intricate... Are we going to be able to go inside that castle? Let's I wonder how intricate it will be. Oh, actually, you know what this is? This is a mix of the Harvest Valley and the Old Bastille. Because, I mean, the architecture is definitely Old Bastille feeling. But it's with poison in it, though. So that's a nice uh, mixture of mechanics here. Shiny. Can we hop down there? We want to hop down there. That is the question. This is probably going to be a mistake. But, we're all right to bed it, so. Oh boy. It's the deck of. No, 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 I don't want hers. I don't want hers. Oh, poison gecko. Scary. But not as scary as the as the Scarlet Rock gecko, but still not something you want. Yeah, no, just notice of the way they're looking. I think what we're supposed to do is actually come from that direction over here, not the other way around, so. Cause they always set the enemies to try and ambush you from the direction they think you're going to come, so. Probably confusing the geckos.
Well, I mean, the thing is, they could in the Lake of Rod. There were actually geckos that could do both, and that was why I was very scared. Or very scared. Here, though, it's just poison. I mean, Scarlet Rod is basically the equivalent of, of this game version of Toxic, which is always a scary thing in Souls games because it does so much damage over time. Death, 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 death. Death. Okay, we're good. Well, we're moving slowly for some reason. What happened? We also gotten stuck in the mud somehow. Building up the poison, too. Might need our talisman. Yep, we needed that. Uh, Dipty on Steam is probably a cheaper copper nickel scent, because if you buy a physical disc, you'll have to pay for the shipping cost. So... Whereas on Steam, it's just di digital, so it's all electronic. No shipping cost. All right, poison gecko. Oh, I can't hit you from there. One second. All right, poison gecko. castle. I wonder what happened to it. It feels like it kind of sunk into the ground, so to speak, or like melted. That guy doesn't seem to bother anybody. So we attack. Oh, he has the perfumer stuff. And they can heal. Oh no, the, the poison builds up in this area. That's gonna be annoying. Just like that one area with the Scarlet Rock build up like crazy, so. Lost to steel plus harvest value plus iron, iron teeth. Yes. That describes this area pretty well. Poison, 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 poison. Okay. Probably a bad idea. I doubt these guys can be poisoned. Oh, we have a lot of spare rock, uh, poison arrows, though, so. Get over here.
Ow, that boss not hurt. Sorry about that, boys. Okay, no problem, uh, Topper Nicholson. Thanks for dropping by, and I hope you have an awesome night. Oh, that's an enemy. A side race at the top of that ladder. It's a distinct possibility. Let's just hop up here and see what we can see. Hey, welcome back, Rockport. Uh, just trying to see if there's a side brace around here so we can reduce backtracking. Maybe around there? Oh! Might be? Yeah, that's it. That's it way over there. Okay. Brace spotted. Uh, wait, we can't get out there from here, don't we? Uh-oh, that was bad. I don't know what that is, but that looks bad. I'll kindly head back this way. How do we get over there? Rooftop hardcore? Rooftop hardcore, that's that's what they're describing. Okay. Uh Yep, and you would be correct, uh Director. Uh shortcut? Nope, it's just a regular ladder. There we are, there's some grace. Closer we do. Decently close to level up. Like we have is the cheese that's a clean rot night so not messing with that if we can help it nice distraction please nine ten times well, it worked. Ah, uh, yes, we did, Rekor. Was that and a friend of his? Two clean rot knights. Definitely one of the hardest early game bosses we fought. 
I don't think our spots to be fought early on, I should say. Because we learned a lot from that battle. They have a lot of statues here. Valkyrie's prosthesis. What? Huh? It looks like it has a T item. Golden prosthesis used by the one armed Valkyrie. He's on one armed A masterwork craftsmanship with practice skill. It can be used as proficient as as proficiently as a real arm. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, when Malay Marias, Lord of the Shea Castle, embraced this prosthesis, he claimed to feel the presence of his personal goddess. Isn't this I've seen like Melania has an arm like this, doesn't she? Is this like... Is that like the key item we need to fight the horse boss in the game? Okay. That that might be what that is. This is like, in all the promo art, we see Melania put, like, put some kind of golden arm on her. On herself. Giant fl tatted flower. Um, rotten enemies. Yeet. I'm amazed we survived that hit. Oh, it's a Wait, is that a scarlet rot flower? That's evil. Evil. Indeed, please. Scarlet rot flower. Uh, explosions. How many of these guys are there in this area? Too many. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. Anything else down here? No, not there. Oh, for us, the things down. Was it worth it? Maybe. Way in or way out? Uh, way in. I appreciate that there's multiple ways to enter this uh, castle. Makes it more intriguing to explore. Likely uh, trap over here. I don't know what that is, but I don't like it. Oh, is that a grafted scion? It might be. Yeah, it does look a lot like a grafted scion. Will you give me a shiny? Oh, we can teleport. He did teleport. <laughs> hmm, 
Drop some Tesla for it. Cool. Oh, well, it's tanky. To be fair, this is a, I guess, a mid, a mid late game area, seemingly. And we're low on arrows again. One second. Oh, they're not get cornered. Okay, I just need a place where we're not going to get. Oh, they still see us. I just need a place to rest. To rest. Sure, we did just step on a slot by accident. Is this not far enough? We aren't being chased. What's wrong? Fine, we'll do it the right way. Fine. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Or not. That's the last time. Let's try the right. Over here. Ah, oh, he wants the shiny too. I can relate, friend. I can relate. We all want the shinies. Yep, no problem, Brett. Uh, another one of those things. Brave perfumer head star. Okay. Um, perfume bottles. I'm still not sure why the, those are key items. But whatever. the guard or anything, so let's check. Not that I can see, they're just kind of here. Well, that was a lot of damage. Oh, they were guarding something.
Alright, so I think so. Don't think this is intended, but we'll do it this way. Scion. I vote we just go to charge some arrows. I should go restock while we're at it. I don't think there are more shinies around here. Maybe not. Yeah, I'd rather just zoom out then. Or still have the wrapped at sign, so I should tell one. Almost made it. Hey, welcome back. Indeed, Raptor, indeed. They're 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 reminiscent of Godric for sure. Now Godric was a push over compared to Radon. I know, Felice, I know. House Maurice is ruined. It's just desserts for falling for that severed heartbeat. No surprise that the guilty Cree into the castle and, and our storied sword. No. Sorry, they don't have like another super sword like the other castle did. I wonder. Well, we ascend. Oh yeah, that, that was that was definitely an iconic mode for sure. The, the gatekeeper stomping on on Godric's head after it's all after he was defeated. 
I mean, to be fair, Gotchard was kind of, was like a really, really bad person, so. Oh, I, I was confused. I'm like, is this, uh, enemy? Yes. Hello. Goodbye. Yeah, I just realized, like, all those enemies we just swapped, they must have been, like, uh, nobles and some of their servants. Like, they, there was, like, different enemies in a different area. It's not like a little story here. Like, maybe they're all try still trying to hang out here. Like, you had a little, like, court court magician and uh, court hunts huntsman and things like that. Is this the way up? I don't know. Um... Humor's cut back. Oh, neat. It's been a neat area. Fair enough, uh, Copper Nettleton. Oh, clean rot night sees us. It's Krillin! Krillin's back. Hello, Krillin. Goodbye, Krillin. <laughs> Something jump out of us. Oh, yep. Yeah, not so strong without Fitolo, indeed. Boss Arena? Mayhaps? Out here, another clean rot knight. Why are you down in here? Oh, he's about to go for the soup. Nope. Uh, darn Dados. Drink. Oh, this one's tankier. I was getting very confused. There we go. Ooh, we can see over everything. Cool. <gasps> Shortcut! Shortcut ladder, chat. Now, now it feels like Dark Souls. You have a shortcut ladder. Anything below? Certainly not. Oh. 
boss arena. But also probably enemies. Let's do this, chat. Oh, Elmer of the Briar. Oh, it's, it's, it's the hunter enemy, it's the hunter enemy. Great, 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 great. Ow. I don't like that. We're dead. Police! Police! Alright, I... Sorry. I need to grab my bearings. Sapphire is slightly different than what I'm used to. Frank. Oh! <laughs> well, that was an attack. We can definitely beat this guy, we just need to not be dumb. As they say. Alright, well, I'm thinking... And just for funsies. I just realized. Oh wait, no, we can be poisoned. Oh, that's a shield. Uh. That's entirely my fault. I'm not evading properly. As long as the poison strat will work, we just gotta actually pull it off. So, well. Oh well. If I had just down poison off at the start, then we would have had it. That's a doable fight. Totally a doable fight.
We could also go with some bleed arrows, that might be useful. Dark hand in again. Hell, oh, stop. Right. Ow. Ow. Alright. Definitely need to learn the attack parents on this guy, so. Jeez is not going to help. for you today. Drink. Okay. Okay. Drink. Now I, I, I just rolled that. I should have waited a little bit longer. Force here.
this boss really is all about timing. No poison for us today. Scratch. Okay. Left. Right. Okay. Place. Okay. Oh. that we got it let's go yes about time great out of felt where is this executioner for great sword wire great shield do some have runes oh no 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 Why do I hear boss music even though the boss battle just ended? Well then, I think we know whose castle this is. <laughs> is she here? Chat, for those who don't know who that is, I have heard this that person is infamous in the Elden Ring community at this point. Uh I I mean testimony can be used in four copper Nicholson. I think most priests aren't going to I would say, for the most part, most priests don't confess tes testimonials in court, except in very rare instances where they feel someone might be in danger. But yeah, seriously though, chat, like, that is a picture of Melania. Which leads me to believe that this is probably Melania's castle, and if so, it's like, it does make me wonder what happened here. Anyway. Oh, that was a thing. We used a ton of arrows too, so we should restock for sure. Alright, chat. Well, we we'll explore the shaded castle pretty thoroughly. Well, this is definitely a cool area, but I think we've most certainly completed it.
Anything outside the area? Mayhaps a side dungeon, or is it just... Oh, area. I'm sorry, I think there's probably nothing around this, this section. one of those places. Astronomer stuff. Alright. Still don't know what these starlight shards do, but at least we have them. Uh, because, uh, there was some pretty similar foliage, uh, near the, um... <laughs> well, I feel like you're, well, you're literally just there, but... There's pretty similar foliage in that castle and uh, the Lucan Peninsula. I think it was called Morn Castle or something like that. What is this area? I don't like the look of the spot. Uh, okay, there's a golem. Anything else in this area? Or is it just golem friends? I'm mostly just checking for, like, cat caves and stuff. Oh, wait, is that? Murray Shaded Castle Defendant, okay. So there's, like, a, a unique uh, summon thingy here. He's done. That's for Rapier, Marais Mass, Marais Rope. Oh, cool. Ah, nice try, giant. Alright, well, I'm glad we chucked there. start to wrap things up then let's go find a side of race and then go from there there we go let's go with That was some of the alpha list for flip top. Definitely still more to do up here, but it's, it's interesting. I've really enjoyed it. But I am going to start wrapping things up. So if you're watching this on, on Twitch, feel free to stick around for a rape. If you're watching this on YouTube and you like what you saw, please consider subscribing on YouTube. It's free to subscribe on YouTube. You can always change your mind later. That's a great way to show support. If you're watching on YouTube, I hope you have an awesome night.